I'm doing some laundry. Mm -hmm. washed, yeah. washed Kevin's slipper. Hopefully the mate's in here and Boomer doesn't have it. <laughs> and Kevin's lost his garage again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what else is new? Say good morning to the camera, baby. Good morning to the camera. No, turn it around. Oh, okay, so you see my garage? It's a mess again. Not that it wasn't before, but I was getting less messy. <laughs> so, uh, I have some things to do. I would really, really, really like to try to take care of the lawn today. Uh, it's cooler today than it's been, so it would be a good Yay! day to do it. So, uh, that's my idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's see what actually happens. Hey! Hey, what? What are you trying to say? Did I never get to do what I intend to do? I don't have anything for you. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, actually I do. You need to get up an animal blog, and you need to get up a tag Tuesday, because today is Tuesday. Yes. And we didn't put up a tag last week. I know it's itches. And you have to get up a tag. So, I would say before you start on anything else, Go do that. So there it goes. Nothing getting done today. Well, this way it's done, and then you're you're done until tonight. Uh-huh. Yeah. It doesn't take long to do those. Yes, it does. It takes a long time to do those. It does not. You have a very strange sense of time. No, you have a very strange sense of time. No, I don't think so. Yes, I I'm think I'm the one who's up till four in the morning putting these things up. Well, that's why if you do it now, you won't be up till 4 in the morning. Yes, I will, because we'll be putting up this vlog at 4 in the morning. Well, we'll start earlier tonight, then. Yeah, right. <laughs> Go in the house and do the tag and the animal vlog. I got you good footage for the animal vlog Are you going to make me breakfast? Um, if you make me breakfast, I'll put it up right now. I will make you something. I don't know if it's going to be breakfast. I don't care, as long as it's edible. All right. Hello, everybody. I am making myself, or I made myself, something to eat. Yes, it is later than I would have wanted it to be, but it took me forever to use my fitness pal. But I started my gastric bypass classes, and I did not log everything on my fitness pal last week, and I'm going to log everything this week. So it took me forever to use the app. Here is the app, and last week when I was logging, it told me I was not getting enough calories. So for breakfast today, I am eating 389 calories. Here is what my breakfast is looking like, even though it is 12.04. Yes, I am just eating my breakfast now. It is spinach, garbanzo beans, onions, and eggs and I'm going to add this little bit of cheddar cheese to the top of it to consist of my 389 calories. It was very very much a pain in the butt to log everything. Um, I didn't know if I couldn't scan it how to go about logging it but we finally figured it out between Sarah, say hi Sarah, hi Sarah, and myself, how to log it, and Sarah even says, what do you say? <laughs> Can't put that on camera, Sarah, what do you say? <laughs> Sarah thinks it's a pain in the butt as well. <laughs> I can't say it on camera, because then I would owe your jar a lot of money. <laughs> But Sarah's cooking up some food for her, Kevin, and Ian. 
and pretty much the same thing I'm having, except I had to cook mine separately because I had to measure all of mine out to add to the fitness pal. No pain, no gain. She's tell the, the instructor is telling me that I need to eat more because of the way I eat, I'm not getting enough calories. That's why it looks like there's a lot of food there. So hopefully this works. And she's tell they say breakfast your big meal, lunch a medium sized meal, dinner your smaller meal. We'll see how that goes. What are you doing in here? It's like part of my routine. Uh, Aw, Boomer. Typing on my cat. <laughs> See your keyboard? He's my keyboard. I had to hide my keyboard. He likes to sit on my keyboard. Well, he doesn't want you to work. He just wants me to pay attention to him. Yeah. So you're working on a tag to put up today? Yes, I already put together a uh, animal one. For the zoo? Yeah. All right, I'll let you work. Food's almost done. Good. Good. Hungry. Me too. Feed me. My food's done, but I'm waiting for everybody else. Okay. Bye. Bye. And that's for Crystal Dennis. Yeah. Hello, everybody. It's time. What are you laughing about? Oh, nothing, dear. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Got a lot today, I see. I don't have very many shoutouts, but I have a lot of things to go over about my, uh, my, uh, acts of kindness. Yes, I do. Katie Caroline. She watched the season finale of The Walking Dead, I'm sure as well as many other people did as also. And you know what? I know I am going to need Walking Dead therapy. I am. <laughs> I am not going to make it until October. So anyway, I would like to point out our shirts today. I got my hope for Elijah kicking Elijah kicking neuroblastoma and Kevin turn a little bit so he's sporting his new shirt that we just received today Elijah is my superhero and here's Elijah kicking neuroblastoma so you can no longer get these shirts but you can go over to mom's vlog 80 or melody you can find it either way and show your support by uh, pressing that little red subscribe button and subscribe to their channel, thumbs up, leave comments, and you can always make a donation if you, you are able to. But they're an awesome family. Go over, read their Facebook pages, and just follow along with their journey. It tells you their whole story of what's going on. They're an awesome family, guys. So, that's all I have for shout out. But, Jeez. Jeez what? Nothing. He's so jumpy. I, I don't know why. <laughs> just read. Okay, so I'm just going to read a couple of things about people, what they've done for their um, acts of kindness and what they've gotten back for acts of kindness. Um, Angie Lupus Life. She does little acts of kindness randomly throughout every day and I can contest to that because she has done acts of kindness to me or for me and for Kevin her and Jay both um, Dana B saw made a cake for her mother for her birthday Tanya Longley there was a person in line to buy a phone card for their mother who was in the hospital and they were a little bit shy and they couldn't afford to pay for everything. So Tanya took the money out of her pocket and paid for the rest for them. That is an extremely awesome thing to do, Tanya. And her and her friend were at lunch one day. They went to pay the bill and they said, no, it's already been paid for. 
someone in the restaurant paid for three tables of food for everybody. Hmm. That's amazing. That is truly amazing. Um, but I cannot go any further with this until I mention Bambi S. And her random act of kindness. And E.J. Giggy and his random act of kindness to us to help with Boomer and our animals in general. And we had a couple of uh, yes. anonymous um, donations as well. Yes. That uh, we, we don't know who to thank. But there was a couple of, um, one was pretty large actually, helped us quite a bit. And, um, you know, helped the uh, animals out. So. so we thank whoever that was. And, and we cannot do enough to, to pay everyone back for that. And, and we truly, honestly do appreciate everything you guys do for us. And our random act of kindness this week, what, what, what did we do this week that helped somebody? Um, I don't know. Sarah's family. Yeah. And we would not let any of our family members, our very close friends, be out on the street. And no matter what we're going through, there's always place for her in our life and in our home. And she knows that. And I'm making her cry. <laughs> all right, move on. So that's all I want to say. Um, actually, I wanted to say one more thing about Jack Salmon. He was a Vietnam vet, and he saved two soldier, soldiers while he was in Vietnam. He does not know where they are today. He doesn't even know if they're still alive today, but the fact that he did that is just amazing. And Jack, um, he says, God, a God's angels has saved him many times, and you deserve to be saved. So, thumbs up to all of you. And to all of you who do random acts of kindness all the time or, or at all, thumbs up to you all. Unless you're a haunted dealer. <laughs> then it's your job. Okay, so Talk. my question for today. Yeah. What is your biggest pet peeve? I think some people already figure mine out. Me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit. Boy, I really stumped you on this one, didn't I? Uh, I did have some interesting answers, however. Uh, the question was, um, we had the three um, stories. Um, one, a movie, uh, Resident Evil, which was based on a game. Um, Walking Dead television series, actually based on a comic. And um, then there was 28 Days Later. Um, the, I do believe the, the, the game it predates the movies, but I don't know if they had if they had that in it. But it's a uh, a, a regular device used to uh, tell a story. You're telling a story from the point of view of somebody who just woke up. So um, now some people start uh, gave me names like stories from uh, Rip Van Winkle, and I said, "Yeah, that that would that would kind of uh, uh, fit." fit. But that's not what I was looking for. I was looking. There was uh, those three things had them waking up in a hospital, having missed it all, having missed uh, the entire uh, uh, apocalypse. apocalypse happening. So, and then they wake up trying to figure out what's going on. So, and that was from a 1961 movie called Day of the Triffid, which was based on a 1951 book. And it opens up with him waking up in a hospital. Everybody else was blind. So that's the day of the trip. It also has plants walking around. I don't even know if I want to talk about that one. <laughs> so, and those who got it uh, correctly, uh, Cole Today, uh, Terry Johnson, Ta um, Tanya Longley, and um, a YouTube guy, 1985 was the one who came up with Rip Van Winkle, and so did uh, Bambi S. So I have to give them kudos. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah. Today is April Fool's Day. Oh, that's right. And we've been trying to come up with an April Fool thing all day long, but we're we're too lazy to pull anything off. Yeah. So I'm just going to use April Fool's Day, the movie, 1986 again, since I used it once before. The first time I asked what was the body count in April Fool's 1986. What was it? it was the original ending it had a different ending? There you have it. There is your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all of our other stuff. And we will see you guys all tomorrow.